All right, so as the nation looks for ways to inspire during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a legion of more than 1,000 maid services across North America are joining the fight. And with us today to share is the founder of Cleaning for a Reason. Debbie, welcome to our show. Thank you. We're so happy to have you. This is a genius Love idea. So your motto is one less thing to worry about. Mm. Tell us about Cleaning for a Reason. Well, Cleaning for a Reason is the only nonprofit that's dedicated to providing free house cleaning services to women who are battling cancer. Wow. You said free. Free. It's completely right? free. We wow. recruit maid services all over the country to donate their time in their local community. Wow. That is amazing. What, what inspired you to help and to actually do this? I own a cleaning service near Dallas, Texas, and I took a call from a woman years ago that was inquiring about service and then I gave her a price and she said, oh, I can't really afford that. I'm battling cancer and I'm not working and she hung up. Okay. And I decided oh, that day that, that any time a woman called my office and she said she had cancer, we would give her the cleaning for free. Oh, I just oh. got the chill. So yeah. as a caregiver, my husband, my late husband had cancer and I was the caregiver. Yes. And I can't yes. even tell you how much it means to the family, not just the person who's who's fighting, but the family. I mean, we had meals delivered. To know that dinner was, I didn't have to worry about dinner for myself and my children that night and my husband, you know, it's, and, and something like house cleaning. So I thank you from all the caregivers around <laughs> the world as well. well. It really means a lot. The entire family benefits yeah. from a clean house and that gives her time to focus on getting well Exactly. and not worry about the house. You don't want your girlfriends or your neighbor to come in and clean your bathroom, right? but you'll be happy to you let a hang professional on maid yeah. service come yeah. in and clean. Yeah. Man, exactly. and yeah. so when you started this then, did you have any idea that the need for house cleaning for women battling cancer would be so great? I mean, did you just understand well, the span of this? My mother is a survivor of ovarian cancer, so mm -hmm. I saw what she went through, and there is no way she could have cleaned her home. Yeah. And so owning a maid service, you know the difficulty and it's just physically demanding. Yeah. And so I had an idea that women would truly respond. And what has amazed me is how maid services have responded. They really? want to donate. They want to give back in their own community. And this gives them a platform to find the patients and we screen them and we match them oh, with that awesome. local maid service. So that has been surprising that even in tough economic times maid services will yeah. donate their time because if yeah. we've said this before when you're looking for ways to be philanthropic and to mm -hmm. give if you can't give money there are other ways and for them that's giving their services mm -hmm. many of these companies have told us it is the most rewarding thing they've done in business and even wow. their employees feel blessed when they get to go in and make that life a little easier by doing the cleaning. Wow. That's so really amazing. So this is cool. So Reader's Digest, I guess, recently named you as one of the 25 uplifting things that could only happen in America. <laughs> what does that honor mean to you when you that heard that? That was incredible. Well, it was huge because we don't want Cleaning for a Reason to be the best kept secret. Yeah. People need to know that this is available in their town. Mm -hmm. And we have over 1,100 maid services right now that are donating, but we need more. We yeah. need thousands more. Sure, so yeah. that was an opportunity to get the word out and spread awareness. So where are you guys now? I mean, we mentioned it's across the nation, and you're trying, no doubt, to spread even further. Yes. How's that come in? Well, we are in all 50 states and in Canada. Wow. But as you can imagine, there are millions of women who need our help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if people would just take to social media, spread the word, tell people if they're using a maid service, contact Cleaning for a Reason and join our cause and start donating. Great ah, stuff, Debbie. I, I really want to thank you for being here. I'm so glad we could help you get the word out. And you guys, if you want more info on how you can help or to sign up for services, make sure you visit their website. It's cleaningforareason.org. Go there and check it out. Thanks again for joining us.